Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to make this glitch job. If you're new, subscribe. I post the best GT5 glitches and Red Dead. All right, this glitch job takes advantage of a wall breach. So this is the wall breach I know of. There's one in here. But as you notice, sometimes it's inconsistent. You fall through the wall breach. Uh, but we're using this wall breach uh, because it's uh, the most consistent one. You can also use this wall breach right here. But unfortunately, this wall breach doesn't work for females. This is what happens when you play a female character. It takes you like into the crate. So it takes you inside the crate and you can't use your guns in there. But if you're a male, this wall breach is pretty easy. You just run like this and just automatically go inside the wall. But um, female, you can wall breach in here, but it's it takes too long. You got to... I'm going to splice the footage on what a female wall breach in here. See, it just takes way too long. So that's why I'm not going to demonstrate this method. But if you're male and only have male characters, you can use this wall breach if you want. But we're going to use the wall breach at the tree. To begin this, you want to go to creator, create a survival. Then you want to go to your location. So we're going to use this location right here. Then you want to set up your survival details. Once you set up your details, you want to go to placement. And this is the trigger. This is where um, you're going to see it on the map. You want to get the lobby camera. And you want to set the out of bounds to a cylinder. So you want to set it around you. It depends on how you want the encounter to happen. I'm going to set it up that they spawn from this road. So it's however you want it to happen. Basically, I'm going to set it right here. It's a little bigger. Alright, and you want to set it. Player spawn points. You want to set it next to the wall breach. You want to set four. Enemy spawn points. This is wherever you want them to spawn. Prop. I would recommend right here because it's. I mean, you can see them really easily from there. But this is all preference. Wherever you want them to spawn from. You need to set five. Then land vehicle spawn. You have to put it outside the out of bounds. So just right here. So everything. If you want everything to come from the same side. But again, customize it like you want. Here, this is the important part. I mean, you don't have to do this part, but this, like the wall breach, like you don't always go into the wall breach when you do this one. So this helps it so that every time you jump in, you're in the wall breach. So this is, I mean, this is optional, but it helps. So you want to go to barrier and all right, I get this one. Okay, so first you want to have it, basically you're going to put a barrier around the tree so it keeps you in it. So basically, uh, have it a lot like I have it. So, but you can change this uh, rotation type. First, you want to turn on prop stacking. That way you can put them like basically in the tree. Okay, uh, you want it as close as possible to the tree, so I should get it at this angle. At first, it's, it's, I think it's good to just go over here, right, so it's straight, then tape, uh, change the rotation type. And, and here you can change it how it rotates. So best go right here, because you notice it doesn't rotate anymore. So basically you want it as close as possible to the tree. Now 
the view is just like kind of weird to get. But as close as possible to a tree. And then adjust the rotation. Right now I'm just adjusting the pitch. Okay, so this looks pretty much good enough. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, then you want to change it a little bit. Uh, this doesn't matter too much. The roll. The yaw, this is important. Again, you want it as close as possible to a tree. It's Make sure it's kind of clipping into a tree. So then you want to um, press X to place it, right? And then you're going to rotate with a yaw without moving it. And then you're going to make another one as close as possible to the tree. And place it. And hopefully you got it as close as possible to the tree. Because sometimes when you wall breach in here, it takes you out of the wall breach right away. And it's kind of inconsistent. But this makes the wall breach 100% consistent because every time you jump in, you get stuck in a tree. So from here, you, you definitely want to test it. Make sure the wall breach is consistent. So you jump in. And as you notice, it's like 100%. Because look, you can't even exit the wall breach. Look, I'm, I'm trying to exit the wall breach, but I can't. That's why the fence is very important. And see, they just don't shoot at you. Because even though I might be semi outside of the wall breach, like my hand or my gun is outside, they won't shoot me because enough of my hitbox is in the wall breach. So the fence is very important. You can skip it, but you want this glitch to be consistent. So you're always in the wall breach. As you can tell, no one to shoot at me. And since, oh, best you want to go in first person. And the reason why I use a fence is so you can shoot through them. That's the other reason why the fence is really important to this. So the fence keeps you in and you're able to shoot through it. And uh, we're going to do some more fine tuning here. One annoying thing about the glitch is they go in, in here, in this guy's house. I mean, you don't have to block it off, but it's annoying because it just slows everything down. So right now we're just going to fence off this guy's house. This is just so, so so much fine tuning, but so far everything is perfect on this. So just exit it, and we're just gonna do some more fine tuning by building another barrier and try to get as close as possible to the wall. I mean, even clipping, let it. And what you can do also is you can add more um, props right here to slow them down or make them run into one straight line. But overall, this basically they just come from this open lot. From here, back out. Just test it again. Just make sure you like it. Yeah, fence is going to block the rockets. So just take note of that. It, the wall bridge doesn't block so you can I guess we can fine-tune it to have the cars spawn behind us So we can shoot rockets at them So I guess I'm gonna fine-tune that right there I think this is pretty good. From here, you want to save it. Okay, so you want to test it until all the spawn points have been used. Okay, so we're going to make a slight modification because one dude went somewhere we weren't, he wasn't supposed to go. All right, so basically, I think there's one way you can get into this property. Is this door? So we're just gonna block off this door quickly. And yeah, m customize these exactly like you want it, because unfortunately, some some weird things might happen. Like someone's gonna go there, and then they're gonna stay here forever, and you can't kill them. 
But I think that's pretty much it for this. Let's uh Oh we gotta we gotta preview and test it again. Since we made modifications. Save it. Publish it. I mean you don't have to publish it, I guess. Pause it. Go online. Alright, so here's the job. If you uh, didn't publish it, I should be under my jobs. So you can launch it from here or here. So our D-pad. And it's pretty easy to do, first try. And it gives you 15 minutes to start, so it's pretty lenient. So I'm just going to fast forward this. As you can tell, I completed all the 10 rounds without dying. So it's a great way to make RP and money pretty fast. If you stuck around for the entire video, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe for all the best GT5 glitches. Thank you for watching, and I am out.